Hey, this is John with Foodscaping Utah, and we just wanted to make a real quick video on planting fruit trees. And the number one thing that I'm thinking about and focused on when we're planting fruit trees is the planting depth. And the way that we make sure that we plant them at the right depth uh, is we try to find the root flare on the tree. Sometimes it's easier said than done, um, but this is an almond tree, but it uh, would apply for any tree really, especially fruit trees, you don't wanna plant them too deep. But if you come in here, Holly, you can see that where the, where the roots start to come out, there's, there's a little bit of a flare, right? Um, and what you wanna do is find that and then try to plant that at the same height as, as the soil. So you dig your hole and if your hole's too deep, you wanna backfill it. If it's too shallow, you need to go a little bit uh, deeper, but we're basically trying to line it up with your soil height, right? So you can use something, you know, at least relatively straight to, to see if it's at the right depth. We actually had to um, pack a little soil underneath and bring it up a little. Sometimes you dig the hole a little too deep, right? And that's the, the, the mistake that you really wanna avoid with fruit trees. Um, they, they need air just as much as they need water. So you want them, you want them to be at a good planting height. So um, the other thing to mention real quick is you can, you, you definitely wanna loosen up the roots. You can see in this one, the roots aren't root bound at all. But if you did have a tree that had circling roots, you wanted to would wash that off or use some way to get the roots spreading out. You really don't wanna leave it um, roots going in a circle. So this looks really good. So um, now we'll just backfill it in uh, and, and start watering it in and, and give you a shot of what it looks like when we're all done. Um, and one other thing to think about, if you did get it at a nursery where it was in a container like this one was, um, a lot of times you might have to uh, pull back some of the potting soil and mulch. You can see this one had, had potting soil up here and we had to pull it back to find the root flare. So that's one thing that can, can you unadvertently you end up planting it a little bit too deep because it was deep in the container. Bare root is also a great way to plant tr uh, fruit trees. So we do both um, and, and this one happened to be in a container. to kind of fill in the hole. Make sure there's no air pockets in there. And then when you plant them, you really want to soak it good. Make sure it's got plenty of water. And then uh, depending on how hot it is, you might not have to water for a while. Okay, I think we got it planted uh, really well, right at the right height. Um, and the other thing that I did on the end here is built a little basin. And that's basically just so we can do a really good job watering it in. We're going to soak the whole area. And then if you have that kind of berm around the side, that'll keep your water from running off. And this tree's planted in a little bit of a mound. If you have really poor drainage um, on your soil, wherever your soil, whatever your soil is, it's really nice to plant on a mound because that'll make sure that the, that the, uh, roots get enough air and they don't stay too wet. That's the whole reason that we're planting them shallow, right? Um, or not too shallow, but you don't wanna to plant too deep because the, the, the roots don't wanna to be too wet. They say for stone fruit particularly, they don't wanna have wet feet. Um, so I'll give it just a little bit more water and then we're gonna put um, some mulch on it. We bought a couple bags of soil pep to mulch with uh, today. Um, just to, for the planting, but we usually get our mulch from the Ogden City uh, Green Waste Facility and we'll get a big load. Um, and that's one of my tips that I want to end the video with is um, we like to use four to five inches of wood chip mulch on all of our plantings for all of our trees. So a uh, couple things to consider. Um, I wouldn't recommend planting trees in grass where they compete with grass at all have them in a separate area. They can be near grass, right? Um, but you wanna have them separate. Um, also, I wouldn't, you, you don't wanna, if you can avoid it, you don't wanna irrigate them with sprinklers where they're spraying the leaves. So we, we use drip irrigation, which we really like, um, but if you're gonna water them, um, water at the base of the tree where you're just watering the, the soil. For lots more tips on growing uh, fruit trees, you can, you can check out our 10 Keys to Success. Uh, we also have pruning videos. Um, thanks for watching Foodscaping Utah and grow your own.